hey friends welcome back to my channel it's becky if you're new here welcome to my channel i'm becky and i post a ton of pregnancy motherhood and just in general everything life content on my channel so after this video go ahead and take a look through my channel and consider subscribing but today's video is going to be a second trimester pregnancy essentials must have video i consider myself a little bit of a minimalist in a way where i know that i don't need some of the things i can rough it out a little bit but these are just some of the things that have made my life a hundred times easier this is my third time being well my fourth pregnancy my third time carrying it through past 10 weeks so some of these things i didn't have with my second pregnancy my first and my second pregnancy and i splurged for this pregnancy and i am so glad that i did so i want to share that insight with you and share the things that i wish i would have gotten earlier on in my pregnancy or um in my previous pregnancies so let's get right into it so congratulations if you just got into your second trimester or you're about to your nausea should be soon going away thankfully but the first essentials that I have is obviously something that we should all be taking whether we're in our first, second, or third trimester. It is a prenatal. The prenatal that I'm taking this pregnancy, I was taking two. I was taking another one that had a DHA and another prenatal pill. But I just got tired of taking two pills every single day. So I just switched to this one. It is Mary Ruth Probiotic and Prenatal Plus. It is organic. You can get it off of Amazon. It's vegan. It is super healthy. I don't even feel it. It kind of smells like oregano a little bit. But if you can get past that, just to take it once a day. I take this every night before bed. My doctor told me to take it at night. So I definitely take that every day. My next must have if you were following from the beginning of my pregnancy i used to have a different water bottle it was just a starbucks like simple really thin mermaid water bottle but i recently went ahead and got one of these off of amazon and oh my goodness i thought that i was drinking enough water before but this is like a slap in the face because that is not the case this has me drinking water at all hours of the day I love the colors it is beautiful but my favorite part is that in the back it has the time so it has 8 a.m. 9 10 11 12 2 3 4 5 6 so like by right now let's see what time it is it is 3 30 this is my second time drinking uh, filling up this water bottle today so I'm pretty much right where I should be and let me tell you when you're drinking enough water you feel a hundred times better I never listened it was my first two pregnancies I didn't listen to it I would just drink whatever I wanted to whether it was water or not and as much as I wanted I wouldn't go to the recommended amount but I will admit I'm sleeping a lot better I feel a lot less groggy and exhausted throughout the day when I drink water and my body just feels less like heavy throughout the day I really like this water bottle because it has like a simple little cling here you can cling it to like anywhere it's thin enough to fit in any like cup holder in a car um i love this right here right there i love it you can just sip it like that but my absolute favorite part when you open it it has a filter here but it has this right here so i can have infused water which i've always loved sometimes i will throw some lime in there lemon <laughs> strawberries blueberries well not really blueberries but anything that i can really fit there i will i've always loved infused water so i'm a big fan and i plan to use this for postpartum as well for breastfeeding just because like and it, i think it's so cute so i am more inclined to drink more water and i'm always getting compliments on this and on the website well it's on amazon they have a ton of different colors there's plain black and white ones there's pink ones there's just a ton of colors this one just got my attention so nicely so i grabbed this one if you want to go ahead and look for anything that i'm mentioning in this video i'll link whatever i can below just so it's easier for you to find sometimes it's hard for me to find things when people are telling me them 
but my third essential is cream I've been using this cream and I really like it your skin tends to get dry depending on when you're pregnant um but I really like this one especially now in the summer it's just yucky okay so for stretch marks this is my third pregnancy carrying it out past 10 weeks so I am not if you can hear my kids they're in the background they're, they're playing around watching blippy outside in the living room before I get started with dinner but you are no you're gonna be prone to stretch marks your body is growing some people say it's genetics but I think that if you drink enough water and you take care of your skin you're gonna be a lot less prone to stretch marks so these are two things that I have just started using with this pregnancy with my previous pregnancies I was using um, Burt's Bees Mama Butter which worked wonders I loved it and I also used it postpartum which is why I don't have any more right now but I've been using this I actually got this for my daughter's face she was bit by a dog and I wanted to get her scar down as much as I could and I started doing research and it's really good for just any kind of scar and stretch mark but my absolute favorite must-have for stretch marks I discovered this like literally a month ago and I love it I put it on every single time I go to the bathroom I lift up my shirt and I just put some on my belly because you can never have too much I'm gonna have to buy some for sure before I give birth but it is this rose hip oil it's also an Amazon finds and it is super cheap I think it's like eight dollars for this you can get a bigger bottle for I think like fifteen dollars I'm not sure I don't remember but I'll leave it linked below because it's definitely been a help my next absolute must-have this is something that I did not use for my two previous pregnancies and I really really wish I did because wow it makes such a difference I am sleeping a hundred times better I'm finding myself more rested in the morning obviously but it's just it makes your life so much better and let me just tell you if your husband like pillows keep this away from him because me and my husband we we, we he be, he's taking my pillow almost every night I have to like snag it from him but it is this pregnancy pillow from Amazon I found it on sale I think it was like $70 I don't know how much it was but I got it for $30 off I, I think I paid like $40 or less but this is amazing it has a zipper so I could take off this cover and wash it or swap it out but that is such a big help especially when you're past 20 weeks your your body's just different your body your belly your belly is growing and it just lifts a ton of pressure like from your belly and your cervix and everything when you can have a pillow tucked in between your legs and then this is just get a pregnancy pillow make your life easier another thing that is super essential and I didn't use for my two previous pregnancies was maternity clothes and actually after 20 weeks this pregnancy I bought like a pair of shorts and I liked it so much that I went back the other day got more leggings got more shorts because um in summer and uh, being pregnant in summer and living in Florida like I do it gets really hot and you just want to be comfortable especially if you're chasing two other toddlers and you're gonna be in the second or third trimester I highly highly recommend getting some maternity pants clothes shorts dresses tops anything that'll make you a lot more comfortable I went to Walmart because it was more affordable and I couldn't find it at Marshall's or Ross really but go ahead and spend your money if you want to just more affordable at walmart and you have a reviewer right here telling you that it's super comfortable so here are the shorts that i got they're just shorts but it has like this super comfortable belly band right here that goes all the way up past your belly and i really feel like i could breathe when i'm wearing these shorts even though that I'm out of breath just because of the baby being like under my lungs but I can breathe a ton better and it's so much more comfortable throughout the day when your pants aren't falling or lifting up or just you're not constantly fixing it it's so comfortable but next essential is definitely if you're in your second trimester whether you plan to breastfeed or not 
I cannot stop raving about these bras that I found on Amazon. They are so comfortable. My last video I showed you, I think the peach one or the pink one. Now I'm wearing the peach one and I'm showing you the black one just because the pink one is washing. I wish that I would have gotten these earlier and on in my pregnancy and I wish that I would have gotten these when I was pregnant with my two girls. It is so comfortable. It has a ton of support. I really can't stop raving about them. It has like three little ties right here in the back so super super supportive it is very very soft the inside is like almost satin i guess black isn't the best color to show you but it has removable pads it's super simple with like one finger you pull them both out but they are so soft so flattering and then you can also use them postpartum right there but these are $5.99 on amazon and even if you just buy one, it's going to help you because for me, this pregnancy, my boobs have been growing and growing and just very sore. So I've been uncomfortable until I just got the maternity pants and I got the nursing bras. And now I'm like a whole different person. I'm so much more happier. Like I'm so much more inclined to get dressed and go out of my house because I'm more comfortable. And that's what you really need when you're pregnant. And they, they're kind of flattering. This shirt isn't the most flattering shirt. Just because it's not a pregnancy. It's not a maternity shirt. But I'm wearing the maternity bra under. And it's super comfortable. Another must have is this. You're going to need some of these little thin pads. I use these. I've always used these. Um, these are daily liners. I think you can get them for like $2. But as your baby gets lower as your baby starts weighing a little bit more every time you sneeze cough it depends on your body but you're gonna have like the sneeze peas or just anything this will save you from having to constantly change your clothes you just take this with you everywhere and change out your liner if you have a sneeze pee or whatever the case may be this has been an essential for me because i was constantly changing clothes and I hate doing laundry so it was adding a lot of laundry and this just saved my life this next item is from target this is um, a recent discovery for me and if i could i would live in this i want to go to target and just get like 30 more of these these are a robe from target they're like pajamas a pajama robe from target Here's a little strap, but this like oh, it's just so comfortable. It's so so comfy. I don't even know what it is. It just the fabric is just amazing. It's by Stars Above in Target. It's like thirty dollars I think, but you can find it on sale. And this is really nice for postpartum because you can just like flop it out. And they're super comfortable. I can live in these if I could. I really really would. My husband gets tired of me wearing this. This is like one of the only pajamas that I wear always another one is i would recommend getting some comfy like stretchy pants for wearing around the house or pajamas i got these at burlington i think it was i think it was like 6.99 they're super cute cheetah print but i definitely suggest if you're starting out your second trimester just size up and Get some comfy clothes because it's gonna start your belly is gonna start growing and it's gonna start getting really uncomfortable to do anything to sleep to just be so you're gonna want to be as relieved as possible <laughs> between pregnancy hormones and your growing belly you're gonna want your clothes to be one last thing that you have to think about another thing is chapstick um my lips are normally dry but that's just because i have like a habit of peeling at my lips but I love this chapstick saved me this pregnancy in the beginning I I also have psoriasis so my skin would start getting dry especially if I had like a stressful moment um, this chapstick is amazing I'm also gonna be taking this to the hospital when I give birth and my last I think this is it no it's not it but my last well, not my last <laughs> my next essential is a notebook or post-its you're gonna want you're gonna get forgetful so if you're a notebook kind of girl mostly i'm more on my phone so like i have my 
my notes on my phone filled because I'm constantly just writing whatever runs through my mind on my notes but I would definitely either get a planner so you can have your appointments here and anything that you plan to do or if you're like me and you like literally instantly forget something like the night before if <laughs> I'm restless because I'm in my second trimester and that's how it is if I'm walking around my house looking for something to do because I'm restless I will write down something that I have to do the next day and put it on the mirror in my bathroom or on my mirror next to my bed and when I wake up I remember like oh I have an appointment at 10 o'clock or oh today I have to go pick this up or I have like I have a prescription to go get or I have to do this today or whatever the case may be post-it notes have been my best friend as long as with as with my planner as well and my notes on my phone so have something that you can just write things down in if you think about something if you think about a name for the baby if you think about something that you want to get done before baby gets here or whatever the case may be find something that you can write stuff down in and my last essential if you haven't gotten a pregnancy app already i would totally consider getting these are the ones that i have you can't see because of the glare I have Baby Center, Pregnancy Plus, The Bump, Ovia, and Baby List. Baby List is just for like shopping, but the other ones, they're really good to have. If you have any questions, a lot of the articles are very relevant to the same thing that you're going to be experiencing through those weeks because they track your pregnancy for you. You can also put appointments in them, but it's super, I think it's an essential because there's also like boards and people like if you have any questions, it's answered in those apps. So for sure, if you haven't gotten a pre pregnancy app, I would by now. But that's it for my minimalist um, essentials for pregnancy. Um, I would also say get some fluffy slippers um, to walk around your house. But that's not really an essential. That's more of like an extra. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope that I can help you. If you have any other essentials that I have forgotten in today's video, let me know in the comments below. Let us know for any other mamas looking out there. And I hope you have a healthy and happy pregnancy. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.